Today we're going to make flip books in class, and I know you made some back in middle school, I know you made some back in elementary school, but it's always good to review how to put a, a flip book together. First thing you got to think about is how many pages do you want in your flip book? If you want about seven pages, you have to make it one way, and if you want maybe three or four pages, you can make it another way. So I think the easiest way is to make it with the um, seven pages, and plus then you have a lot of room to work with. So the first thing I want to do is, some people call this hamburger style, I want to fold my paper hamburger style, or horizontally, that's how I kind of think about it, as being horizontally. So I took it, my long sheet of paper, and I folded it in half. Now I take this long sheet of paper again, but instead of folding it hamburger, which would be this way, I fold it hot dog, so it makes it long and skinny like a hot dog. Got it like that? This is super, super easy. I now have four rectangles. I can just cut out my four rectangles. Super easy. I'm not cutting um, very evenly right now because I'm cutting really fast. What you would do for an assignment is you would you'd try to be a little bit neater than I am. So now I line my four sheets of paper up. This is where if you had one color of paper and your friend had another color, you could kind of trade and have different colored pages. I've got them all lined up like this. I fold them, make a nice crease, take the stapler, staple a couple times. You don't need ten staples along here. Two staples will do. And now I've got a cute little book. I can fold this, fold this corner by the staples. It makes it easier to turn the pages and I can make my flip book. Second way to make the book is a little bit more difficult, but you probably tried this in school. Watch. First, I'm gonna take my long sheet of paper and I'm gonna fold it hot dog because I want it to be um, long and skinny at first. Make a nice crease. Now I'm gonna fold that in half hamburger style. Let's see. If I open this up, I would now have four rectangles. Instead, what I want to do is I want to fold it again hamburger style. I want to have eight rectangles total. Okay, see this? If I unfold it, I have eight rectangles all along there. This is tricky. Fold it in the middle. You already have a crease there. Fold it in the middle hamburger style. Got that? Hamburger style. This is my open edge. I don't want to touch my open edge. If I cut it, if I touch it, I mess this whole thing up. I want to go to the folded edge. I start right here at this crease, and I'm going to cut till I get to the middle crease. I cut straight across there. That's it. Don't cut any more than that. Open my paper back up like this. Hold it. I can actually, if you turn it upside down like that, that's easier. I've got it at the ends. I've kind of got it open in the middle like that. Hold it at the ends. Push together. Fold this over. And I've got a cool book now. And my book has a cover. It's got this page, this page, this page, this page, this page, this page, and this page. So it's a nice little book. Again, if you wanted to staple it, sure thing, staple it. Fold it, make it easier to open and shut, and you've got a great little flip book to put together. Super easy, and you can use it for a lot of different assignments, or even for a review if you're working at home and trying to review for a test. So, good luck.